while working on cruise ships, I learned napkin folding. So today I'm going to make two holiday ones, an elf boot and a Christmas tree. The elf boot is probably easier. You start by laying it flat. Then you fold the bottom up to the middle point and the top down to the middle point. And adjust a little bit if you need to to make sure it's nice and centered. Then you're going to fold it in half towards the top so the crease faces you. Next, you're going to put one finger in the middle and fold both edges down towards the center, making sure they're about the same length. Then you're going to fold in the same motion down on both sides, and from here it will probably look a little bit like a paper airplane. Then you're going to fold it in half, and you want to make sure that the crease is facing away from you. So I'm going to flip it over, and now the part under my left hand is going to be the foot, and the right is going to be the ankle. So you fold the first layer up, then you hide this little flap down, and you tuck all that you can into the little hole that you're going to have on the foot of the boot and push it as far in as it will go until it feels snug. At this point it will be able to stand up on its own and all you have to do is roll the boot cuff over and you're done. And I set that one aside and I'm going to do the second one a little bit faster. So you lay the napkin flat, you fold the bottom towards the middle, you fold the top towards the middle, Try not to bump your camera tripod, then fold it in half up, fold both down at an angle so they're even, and adjust as necessary, fold both down again, fold it in half with the crease facing away from you, flip one end up, hide the flap down, and tuck into the foot of the boot. Then just fold the cuff down, adjust as necessary, and that's it. Then setting that one aside, I'm going to do the Christmas tree next, which is a little bit more difficult. Again, you're going to start by taking your napkin and laying it flat out in front of you. Then you're going to fold the top all the way down towards the bottom, and then the right towards the left. You want to make sure that you have four flaps facing you and the creases are facing away. Next, you're going to grab one flap at a time and fold it up so it's not quite to the point in front. I like to try to leave about three quarters of an inch in between them. You're going to do that with all four flaps. Then you're going to flip it over and fold the left side in and the right side in so that they don't quite form a point at the bottom. Then you're going to flip that side away from you and one at a time you're going to fold the flaps up folding each one underneath the one above it. And once you do that with all of the single layers, you're going to do the same thing with the big point at the bottom. Once everything is neatly tucked in and adjusted, you'll be able to pick it up. And if you just round out the bottom, it'll be able to stand up on its own. Then you can just adjust it, and that's all there is to it. I did the second one on my own, but I'm going to do the third one a little bit faster. You fold it down. You fold it from right to left. You want all four flaps facing you. Then you're going to fold each flap individually up one at a time so that it doesn't cover the one above it. Then flip it over, fold the left towards the right and the right towards the left. Then flip it over again and fold each of the single flaps up tucking it underneath the one above it. You're going to do that for all four, including the big one at the bottom. Then adjust as necessary and round it out so it'll stand up on its own. And the only thing left to do is to set your table.